There are no such thing as black holes. Are you sure this line is clean? This is a Thor News presentation. Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. Guys, I'm bringing the party to you. Oh, joy. We are over at the universe today, and our good buddy Jason Major is covering a major story. There are no such thing as black holes, don't you know? By Jason Major. September 24th, 2014. UNC Chapel Hill physics professor Laura Mancini Hooten, I forgot the dash, has proven mathematically that black holes don't exist. And you see, like, to scientists, if you can't see it, you can't touch it, you can't smell it, and you can't feel it, if you can calculate it with your calculator, that is just as good as the real thing, if not better. Scientists love numbers as much as poets love words. All right, now I'm excited because I've wanted to say for a while, hey, I don't believe in black holes either, and they don't make sense. And if they were real, I do believe light can escape from them. Though, maybe if it escapes from it, it's no longer light. It's something way cooler and way more powerful. So that way I can be right and Einstein can be right at the same time. I'm cool like that. Like Forrest Gump said, Maybe it's a little bit of both. May not be a smart man, but I know what light is, Jenna. See what I did there? That's the conclusion reached by one researcher from the University of North Carolina. Black holes can't exist in our universe. Long dash, not mathematically, anyway. I'm still not over the shock, said Laura Mercini dash Houghton, associate physics professor at UNC Chapel Hill. We've been studying this problem for more than 50 years, and this solution gives us a lot to think about. First of all, Miss Houghton, I want to give you a gold medal from Thor News for having the chutzpah, 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 to go against the grain of what all our scientists say. Because let me tell you what, that is rare these days. At times it seems like science has a hive mind, and you are bumblebeeing on your own path. I'm proud of you. And I'm proud of science. All right, let's keep going. In a news article spotlighted by UNC, and I think that means the University of North Carolina. That's north of the University of West Carolina. The scenario suggested by Mersini Houghton is briefly explained. Basically, when a massive star reaches the end of its life and collapses under its own gravity after blasting out its outer layers into space, long dash, which is commonly thought to result in an ultra-dense point called a singularity, surrounded by a light and energy-trapping event horizon. It undergoes a period of intense outgoing radiation, the sort of which was famously deduced by Stephen Hawking. This release of radiation is enough, Mersini Houghton has calculated, to cause the collapsing star to lose too much mass to allow a singularity to form. No singularity means no event horizon and no black hole. At least not by her numbers. Did you hear that, kids, teenagers, and adults? The ones that fear nightly that they're going to fall into a black hole and die? Fear no longer. Oh, and let me say, if you're kids, you shouldn't be watching Thor News. Thor News is only for intelligent, critical thinking adults with a sense of humor. People like that are rare these days. Now, you might be a kid like that, but hey, you are not welcome here. I don't want your parents mad at me because I drop F-bombs or sometimes I show boobs. But I show boobs a lot less because there's a whole women's equality fight thing going on and you can't objectify them at all, you know, and only they can objectify themselves, which is really weird. Um, that is not the issue. Though I've had some girlfriends who pretty much were like a black hole, but I escaped. What? Is this wearable technology the next big thing in high tech? How are you going to wear a billboard, man? you got to be like the Incredible Hulk. Nobody's going to wear a billboard. That's the dumbest idea I've ever heard. Back on subject target. So what happens to massive stars when they die? Science is like magic and magic tricks. Astronomy is much like... Hogwarts, School of Wizardry and Science Craft. 
Yeah, that's right. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. I'm your host, Thor. I'm going Coronal Cocoa Puffs. Crazy. Okay. Woo woo! Stay cool.